Right, so welcome back to another A600DS video. So in today's video, I'm just gonna be showing you how to delete games or ADFs that don't work on this device. Now you do not need your memory stick plugged in for this. You just literally add games to the memory. Um, once you've removed your USB stick, your games will still be there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a game, which I know that doesn't work which is and let's go for one of the more controversial Amiga games which is good old Leisure Suit Larry so click on your game select your file uh, don't worry about all that and then we'll go to start. So we'll just let that load up. Right, so program failed. So what you do, Press start on your controller and come out of that. So confirm quit. Now you need to select the game. So if I select Lemmings, Lemmings pops up. If I selected as a suit Larry, that pops up. So you need to go to edit and there's delete there. Obviously it's not highlighted at the moment. So what you need to be doing is protect from deletion and where it says protected untick it and then just go to say changes the game's still selected and then just literally press delete uh, do you really want to delete leisure suit lally it's permanent and cannot be undone it can you can reinstall it delete leisure suit lally and there you go he is gone from existence so that was just a quick little video on how to remove adfs as I say, they are in the internal memory. Um, you just use your USB stick just to install them. And uh, I'll just take a quick little tour around what I've done so far with this. So there's all my thumbnails as well. Um, so as, as you load the game up, it doesn't come with any thumbnails. You've got to make your own thumbnails. So uh, let me see. So I'll do a quick one. Um, yeah, there we go. So go to my ADFs and go to a game which I think I haven't installed yet um, Lemmings 2, Soccer Kid, Shadow Beast 2 Agony doesn't work quite a few of these you're seeing now don't work I need to download some more ADFs um, try that one, uh, coin up so select file and ignore all that and then start I must admit it does look well better with all the thumbnails I hope this one works anyway okay so come out of that right okay I don't think that one works so come out of that confirm quit and what we'll do is we will uninstall Rainbow Islands. So go to edit, click on unprotected, save and then delete. Delete. So we're gonna re-add this game now. I'm gonna show you how to get a nice little thumbnail. Um there's Rainbow Islands. There we go. Select file. The game is only one disc and we will start Rainbow Islands uh, just get rid of that so what you need to do when you see a thumbnail that you want press start and where it says there save screenshot to thumb click that and then you can either resume the game or you can just quit it. So what I'm going to do, I've just saved that image there. 
So we're going to quit the game, and there we have a nice Rainbow Islands thumbnail. Got Soccer Kids, Speedball, Project X, Pinball Fantasies, uh, as you can see there, quite a lot. We'll get rid of that actually while we're here. And unprotected, save changes, and delete. So yeah, that was a quick tutorial on how to get rid of the games and also add uh, thumbnails to your games. And as you can see, it looks much better than just having blank discs. Uh, I've got a couple more tutorials coming. So uh, for now, cheers for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Nice shooting, son. What's your name? Chewie.